divide 841 rupees between A and B, so that the amount with A after 7 years is equal to the amount with B after 9 years, the interest being compounded at 5 percentage per annum. Solution, let the part with A B x rupees then part with B is 841 minus x rupees, as total amount is 841 rupees. Amount is equal to, principal into, 1 plus r by 100 whole power n. Amount with A, at end of a 7 years is equal to, x into, 1 plus 5 by 100 whole power 7. Amount with B at end of 9 years is equal to, 841 minus X into, 1 plus 5 by 100 whole power 9. As it is given that the amount with A, after 7 years and the amount with B after 9 years is the same. We equate the amounts derived above. X of 1 plus 5 by 100 whole power 7 is equal to, 841 minus x into 1 plus 5 by 100 whole power 9. x by 841 minus x is equal to, 1 plus 5 by 100, whole square. x divided by 841 minus x is equal to, 105 by 100, whole square x divided by 841 minus x is equal to, 21 by 20 into 21 by 20. 400 x is equal to, 441 of, 841 minus x. 400 x is equal to, 441 into 841 minus 441 x. 841 x is equal to, 441 into 841. x is equal to, 441. So A's share is 441 rupees. B's share is equal to, 841 minus 441 rupees is equal to, 400 rupees. Let us see another example. Divide 61 rupees between A and B, so that the amount with A after 7 years is equal to the amount with B after 9 years, the interest being compounded at 20 percentage per annum. Solution, let the part with A, B x rupees then part with B is 61 minus x rupees as total amount is 61 rupees. Amount is equal to principal into, 1 plus r by 100 whole power n. Amount with a, at end of a 7 years is equal to, x into, 1 plus 20 by 100 whole power 7. Amount with b at end of 9 years is equal to, 61 minus x into, 1 plus 20 by 100 whole power 9. As it is given that the amount with a, after 7 years and the amount with B after 9 years is the same. We equate the amounts derived above. X of 1 plus 20 by 100 whole power 7 is equal to, 61 minus X into 1 plus 20 by 100 whole power 9. X divided by 61 minus X is equal to, 1 plus 20 by 100, whole square x divided by 61 minus x is equal to, 120 by 100, whole square. x by 61 minus x is equal to, 6 by 5 into 6 by 5. 25 x is equal to, 36 of, 61 minus x. 25 x is equal to, 36 into 61 minus 36 x. 61 x is equal to, 36 into 61. x is equal to, 36. So A's share is 36 rupees. B's share is equal to, 61 minus 36 rupees is equal to, 25 rupees. Let us see another example. 
divide 325 rupees between A and B, so that the amount with A after 7 years is equal to the amount with B after 9 years, the interest being compounded at 15% per annum. Solution, let the part with A x rupees then part with b is 325 minus x rupees as total amount is 325 rupees. Amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n. Amount with a at end of a 7 years is equal to x into 1 plus 15 by 100 whole power 7. Amount with B at end of 9 years is equal to 325 minus X into 1 plus 15 by 100 whole power 9. As it is given that the amount with A after 7 years and the amount with B after 9 years is the same, we equate the amounts derived above. X of 1 plus 15 by 100 whole power 7 is equal to. 325 minus x into 1 plus 15 by 100 whole power 9. x by 325 minus x is equal to 1 plus 15 by 100 whole square. x by 325 minus x is equal to 1 plus 3 by 20 whole square. X divided by 325 minus X is equal to 23 by 20 into 23 by 20. 400 X is equal to 529 into 325 minus X. 400 X is equal to 529 into 325 minus 529 X. 400x plus 529x is equal to 529 into 325. 929x is equal to 1,71,925. x is equal to 1,71,925 divided by 929. X is equal to 185.06, so A's share is 185.06 rupees. B's share is equal to 325 minus 185.06 rupees is equal to 139.94 rupees.